Hey guys, this is Shantae. Um, welcome back. Um, today I wanted to talk to you guys about three main reasons why you should be on Pinterest marketing as a business, or if you are a social media manager, why your clients should be on Pinterest. Um, I know with this particular platform, um, some people are not 100% sure how to use it or what it's good for. So I'm just going to cover some of those things. Um, let's see. Looking down because I got my notebook so I don't forget. I'm just going to say what the three things are first because they kind of um, all kind of go in together a little bit. And I don't want to forget. So one of the things is traffic. It's really good for redirecting traffic to your website um, to a landing page, uh, whatever you have that you, um, you need traffic for. Um, another thing is insight for your business, um, for purposes of either creating new services, creating, um, new products. If you do that, whatever you do. So it's good for getting insight from people, especially the people who follow you. Um, but also for people, if you want to search for their demographics or anything and look at their information on Pinterest, I'll go into that a little bit more in a second. Um, then it's good for that. And then also, what did I write down? Oh, the main thing, a lot of people go to Pinterest for the sake of planning and buying. Okay. So those three main reasons, traffic insight, and because people specifically go there to plan and to purchase. Okay. So now I'm going to explain all that. So basically Pinterest is a social media platform, but it's not like Facebook and Instagram. Each one of them has, you know, kind of like their own purposes. Pinterest is a search engine. It's just like Google or YouTube. OK, so if you want to search for something specific, people are going to go to Pinterest and they're going to put something into the search engine to find it. OK, so the reason why this is beneficial for you as a business, um, let's say, for example, what do I have here? Okay, so brides, okay, if um, somebody is going to plan a wedding, they're going to go to Pinterest, more than likely, especially in today's day and age, if they're planning it on their own, um, they're going to go to Pinterest, and they're going to look for ideas for dresses, they're going to look for ideas for shoes and jewelry, things that go with it. And they're going to have separate boards for each of those things, or they may say, you know, plans for the wedding and have their own board for that and then group it all in there. This is important to you because let's say you are um, a business that sells jewelry or you sell shoes or dresses. OK, if you're out there and your um, your keywords are good and they're able to find you, you're going to be on their board. OK, so like let's say, for example, this bride, she's she wants like, um, I don't know, blue earrings, blue accessories, whatever. She's going to go on Pinterest and she's going to look for ideas for blue earrings. She's going to find a few pairs. She's going to pin them to her board. When it's time to actually buy those, instead of her going into the store or going somewhere else uh, local, if she didn't find anything, she's going to go back to her board and say, okay, I remember those earrings that I found. Now let me go and find them. And then she's going to actually follow through with the purchase and she's going to buy them. Okay. So this is very important. Um, for one, like I said, for the sake of them buying it, but also for insight. OK, so if you are the business, let's say you're a dressmaker. OK, you can go to the people who are following you, go to their Pinterest and look at their boards and theirs may not be as specific as yours as a business. So they may not specifically say dresses, but a lot of them do but they may say clothes. So if they have a board for clothes, go into that board, look at the different types of dresses that they're pinning. This will help you to get in into the minds of the people that you're trying to sell to. This is a very, very extremely beneficial tool for anybody who knows anything about um, marketing or product research. This is very, very good for you. You have a direct view into the mind of the people that you wanna sell to. I would say go to several people that follow you, look in several of their boards, whatever your product or service is. I don't care if you're a blogger and um, you do traveling, you're a food blogger, you do recipes, you're a fitness instructor, whatever you do, 
Go to those boards that are specific to that information and see what people are pinning because it gives you, like I said, insight into their mind, what they're thinking about, and use that information to develop different products specifically for them and services that they might like, okay? So if you, back to the dress example, you looked at like, let's say 20 different people, look for common themes, okay? Uh, One thing I studied in school was fashion for a little while. And one thing we learned was fashion forecasting. So let's just say you pick three things, shape, color, and material, okay? So if you look at 20 different profiles and you see that one common material that you're seeing is lace, you see another common color is red. You see another common shape is, um, I don't know, something rounded, okay? So you see that you can go back to the drawing board. I'm not telling you to copy anybody's <laughs> designs or anything like that, but go to your own drawing board and say, okay, let me create something that is round in shape, something that's red and something that has lace in it. Because a lot of the people who already follow me, um, this is the thing that they're interested in. So I can create something specific to, you know, what they're going to be interested in buying. Okay. You can do the same thing. Um, even with marketing, let's say you are a social media manager, you go to different people's profiles. Um, let's just say regular businesses who that, who you want to work with. And if they have boards about marketing, go to those boards and look at the type of things that they're pinning. If you notice that a common thing that they're pinning is, um, what are the best times to po- uh, post on social media? You can create something around that. You can create a whole blog post about what are the best times. That way, you know, this is something that people would click on and read. This is some beneficial information for them. Okay. So, I mean, I could go on a lot for this, but I'm not going to. Um, whatever your business is, like I said, use that um, and go do your, your market research and develop products and services for the people. Now, if you're new and you're starting out with it, you're not going to have followers right away. So you don't have to just look at your followers, but again, it's a search engine. So just type in the words, you know, of the, your audience, things that uh, would relate to them, search for them, and then just go on their profiles and look at their boards and see what types of things that they're pinning. Okay. Um, what else did I say here? Oh, traffic. Oh my gosh. One of the biggest things <laughs> with some businesses who are not familiar with social media, so I'm not going to knock them, but I hate it when I'm like on Pinterest and I see something and I click on it and all it does is enlarge the picture. It's like you're you're literally wasting <laughs> you're wasting an asset here. If you have anything that you put out there on Pinterest, it gives you an option to insert a URL. Put the link to your website in there. Um Anytime that somebody clicks on that, they're going to be able to go to your website. Um, Perfect example. uh, Me and my husband were in the grocery store and we saw some uh, seafood. I forget what it was specifically, but I was like, I want this, but I don't know what to make with this. And we were trying to figure it out. And I pulled out my phone and I looked on Pinterest and I said recipes for, you know, this particular seafood, whatever it was that I had. I don't know. And I was looking at different recipes for it. And so my husband, he's like, okay, what do we need for it? So once I click on it, I click through to that person's website or their blog post where they tell me what ingredients I need. Okay. So this, them being uh, searchable and having good pictures and information allowed me to be able to find them pretty quickly and to get to their website. So if I like that particular recipe, I might just go ahead and subscribe to their blog or whatever, you know, and follow them so that I can get more, you know, recipes similar to what I like. Okay. So anything that you put there, make sure you put a link back to your website, because this is like one of the best platforms on social media period to get traffic back to your website. You have to think about this from a business perspective. When people go to Facebook, they're usually going there to socialize. When people go to Instagram, they're going there to to look at look at things, you know, visual like pictures and stuff like that, not necessarily for anything in particular. When people go to Pinterest, they are very particular. They're going there to look for something specific. So this is somewhere where you want to be because anybody who's using it, which um I think the numbers for this year were over 200 million a month or something like that. I don't know. It was a lot of active users. It's it's up there. 
if you look at the the statistics for each social media platform, it's not going to come up as high as those, but it still does have enough active users for it to definitely be beneficial for your business. Um, so let's say that was traffic, the insights. And again, because people are intentional about going there, it doesn't matter if you have a, let's say you have a course. Okay. So let's say you want to teach people how to write. People want to learn how to write. They want to start a business doing it. You create a pin that looks nice. This is important. The visual has to be good, um, about how to, you know, write your first book and publish it. And then people click on that. They're only going to see your little description, right? But once they click on it, they can click through to either a landing page that you have for your course or your website. And they'll be able to see, you know, what information you can provide them. How much do you really know? Um, is it worth me buying this from this particular person? And you may have just gained another customer. So this traffic is very important to you. And you're not going to get that the same way on other platforms that you would on Pinterest. So those are my three main reasons, traffic, insights, and because people go there to plan and to buy things. So if you have questions on anything specific to your business, you can ask me um, and I'll help you to the best of my abilities um, because I do love Pinterest and I'm a huge advocate for it. Um, oh, another thing, if you're a business, if you're starting out and you're about to you know, start creating your boards, spread it out, okay? If you have something, back to the jewelry example, don't have a board that just says jewelry. Have one specific for earrings, one specific for necklaces, one specific for watches, things like that. Because like I said, people are going there to search for things, so make it easy for them. If they want to look for watches, they don't want to have to sift through all of your pins about everything else aside from watches. They just want to go to that thing and be quick and find what they're looking for. Um, oh, location. This is this is huge, too. If you're a local business, you can use this to your advantage in, in different ways. Make sure you're putting your location in um, your description, in your profile. Um, every, every description, every pin that you do, make sure you're putting your city in there because this takes it to another level for you. Um, if somebody is in town, so like let's say what's common, Chicago or Los Angeles or whatever, somewhere that's common for people to like vacation, they might say, okay, where is, um, I don't know, a cupcake shop in Chicago? So if you go to the search engine and you type in cupcake shop in Chicago, anything that has those words in it are what's going to come up first. So it doesn't matter if there are millions of cupcake shops on there. If nobody has their location, yours is going to come up first because it's going to pull those keywords again from the search. So just remember when you do these descriptions, your SEO is important. That word sounds scary sometimes. It's just um, another word to say, um, write things how people search for them. Okay. So don't write in the description something with the words backwards, trying to be overly creative. Think about how you would search for something and make sure that you write those words in that way in your description on every single pin that you do. Okay. Um, what else? So many things. Um, but anyways, when I think of more stuff, I'll make another video, but these three things are important. So I definitely think that if you're not on Pinterest, you should be considering it. Um, and sit down and come up with a plan about how it can work for your business and jump on that because it's, it's um, very, very important, I think. And it can work for almost any industry because most people have multiple streams of income through whatever business they do anyways. So in some form or another, I could see it being uh, beneficial. So that's all for now. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like the video and you know of anybody else, any other managers or businesses who can benefit, please share it with them. Um, and subscribe if you want to hear any other information that I have to share with you guys. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye.